Body Logan is a community of color of about 5,000 people. More than 40% of its residents live under the poverty line. This community also has a long history of art, activism, and culture. A critical issue in this community is that of environmental justice. Environmental justice is the right of all people and communities to live, work, and play in a clean and healthy environment. Barrio Logan has a lot of environmental justice issues. There's a concentration of environmental hazards that you wouldn't find in any other community in the region, including large waterfront industries, smaller industries in the community. They're ringed by freeways. There's a rail yard. There's metal platers. There's the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. There's auto body shops, heavy truck traffic on all sides. And there is also a large naval base that's right there on their perimeter. Because of these environmental injustices, Poor air quality is a big issue in this community. Looking at um, particulate pollution, Barrio Logan had the highest maximum 24-hour level of PM 2.5 in the most recent year and the highest annual average for this pollutant as well. Poor air quality is important because it can lead to serious health problems. How it becomes evident is um, medically at night if you just spend a day here, you're going to blow your nose and you're going to have uh, the buildup of exhaust because, you know, your body is taking care of it through your nose. Air pollution affects health uh, all across the lifespan. There's more premature births and more premature deaths as well. There are also more asthma episodes where people need their inhalers or end up going to an emergency room and missing school or work. So that has impacts on every member of the family. There's more heart and lung disease among people who are exposed to, to higher levels of air pollution. Diesel and other traffic pollutants such as benzene are linked to cancer. So there's almost you know, no organ system in the body that's not impacted by air pollution. Air pollution in Body Logan has multiple sources. Body Logan has been a place, a gateway uh, for the industries that are really exporting and importing large commerce. We know, for instance, that in 2016 alone, 157 trucks a day were coming in and out of Barrio Logan. We see the businesses behind us, um, the, the sound, the nuisance that's creating for the residents here on Boston Avenue. The community and residents there are dealing with the uh, SA Recycling Center. They get to see on a daily basis anywhere from 10 to 20 within a couple of hours these large 5-ton, 10-ton trucks coming through the neighborhood. A number one big huge injustice for us personally is that they're using the residential street constantly. So given all this, how can the Body Logan Community and Environmental Health Coalition address this air pollution? Our goal is good air quality for everybody, including children, elderly people, sick people, and workers. You know, everybody needs good air to breathe. EHC and the residents of Barrio Logan are working together to address the issues of air quality in Barrio Logan through three strategies. The first is updating the community plan to increase distance between polluters and homes. Second, demanding action from the city to have a clear and enforceable truck ordinance to keep trucks from passing in front of homes. And third, working towards more green space in the community to help alleviate the effects of poor air quality. To reach these goals, the Body Logan Community and Environmental Health Coalition have been working on truck counts in a community-based air monitoring project. When we talk about environmental justice and, and we talk about what's needed, sometimes we need to prove our case. And truck surveys are a way for us to uh, be precise with the data for them to understand how severe are the impacts in certain areas in the neighborhood. Uh, truck surveys allows us to understand what are the sources, where are these trucks coming from, how often are they coming from, understand these uh, behavior patterns. This data will help us inform the policies that can impact the amount of diesel traffic and other air pollution the Barrio Logan community is exposed to. To join our efforts by participating in a workshop or joining our air monitoring team, contact us at environmentalhealth.org.